Hello people, I'm the Amateur Rambler and welcome to my second Let's Play on this channel and we're going to be playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This is the second time I've played this game, I first played it when it came out, which was like the end of 2015. So yeah, it's just been just over a year and I'm looking forward to it because I really did love this game first time I played it. It um, beat expectations because it got quite mixed reviews. Which is weird, because I really enjoyed it. So it just proves the difference in opinion. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it. Additional content, yes, I do have that. The past is your playground. Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now, I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. <sighs> well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world.
the iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George, we have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man, more afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. for my head. Coming right up. Right then, here we are. Now I was just reading through the box at the during that cutscene. London 1868 at the height of the Industrial Revolution. Of course it was very different back then, you know, you had the corruption and all that. Although that was normal back then to my knowledge. I'm not the biggest historian, but yeah. Anyway, new game means controls. Okay, R2 to move. Yep, we've got the idea. Okay, now I like to take the high road. I don't think you need to in this, I think. Yes, you just have to go down. We're not in any danger of being seen. There's no enemies or anything. Yet. Right. There's innocent coal miners. game is oh, is brilliant, I love it. Really simple, easy to move around, it makes things so much easier. So yeah, we're sabotaging these steam vents. Why do I love this game? The characters, definitely. I was introduced to the Assassin's Creed series because of a trailer that I saw on television around uh, Christmas 2015. And it was mainly because it was set in London. And the characters, really. I mean, the way that what I saw. I mean, Jacob and Evie, fantastic characters. Really good banter between them. Hilarious. Oh, pardon me. Hilarious. So, yeah, I gave it a try. Now, in terms of the, um, the start, I'm still a little bit confused. I think it would take quite a team to work that out. I mean, I love my science fiction and everything, so I should be able to work it out, but I can't. <laughs> okay, but So I'll have to do my research into how it works. I know they're a member of the Creed. And we've got our first fight, and I'm quite confident in my dodging ability. I did very well first time I did this. Yay, awesome. Oh, come on. Yeah, break defense as well, that's another thing we have to do. Yep, mm. that was a bit too quick. That's a bit of a button masher this game, definitely. 
you're just um, pressing square and circle quite a lot. Which is fine, I don't have any problem with that. Just um, some people do have problems with that. I know, it's great. As long as you get the Ferris. challenge, I don't really mind. Coming. Ferris. Okay, um, you can go either way, really. I think. Right, yeah. Enemies who will see you will become suspicious. If you stay in their line of sight, they will become aggressive and attack. Yeah, little power above the head. Move behind cover to lose your, uh, to lose your enemies. They will investigate your last known position. Yeah. So, so far he's seen us, but now he's kind of forgotten, because he's an idiot. He's not, he doesn't think to just look up. And now he's seen us, but it doesn't matter. We've Jumps on him. Oh, another one. And yeah, we can also s sneak. And there's a whistle option. I love the whistle option. It's one of the best things that's ever been put in a video game. The whistle option. It saves you so much time in other games, like waiting around for people. Just makes it so much easier. Which is why, I don't know, maybe that's why they haven't put it in to all games. But it's what, it's what made me love it anyway, first time I played it. Alright, another guy here, we're just going to run up behind him, and he heard us. I don't know how. Well, I would have heard a man running, so we made that. Oh yes, looting, I must not forget about that. Three pounds. There. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. That's all. What do you call it? Survival instant? No, that's Tomb Raider. Um, I don't know what you call that. It might be the same thing, but... Ooh. Another guy there. Yep. Can you get this guy to come? Takes a long time. And surely you could see our little head popping out. Yeah, I will get hands-on eventually. It's just I'm quite I'm quite early on in the game, so my health's not going to be the best, and a few mistakes, and I'll be killed. So we don't want that. Oh come on! I pressed the counter button. Okay, looting. Again. Yeah, knives. I must not forget about knives. I love knives. Makes it so much more. No, don't say that again. Okay. We're opening the doors to the coal. Another blighter there. Stealth. Yeah. I think we've already got the idea of stealth, but yeah. Sneaking makes it harder. Makes you harder to detect and allows you to move faster. Yeah. Stealth ring shows enemies above and below. Yeah, I like that. From behind cover, hold, and then yeah. So now I'm going to show you what it is to use knives. There you go. There you go. Simple. It's quite handy if you want to get rid of someone from afar without them being... without them knowing where you are. Uh -huh. I think that's all of them. I think there's only two in here. No, there isn't. There's one right there. Oh, quickly! Another one over there. 
cow bloody murder. Yeah, people do. Which is understandable. But you'll love it in the end, really. Headshots. Four out of fifty headshots, alright, good. What are you worried about? I'm not gonna hit you. Of course he doesn't know that but Right, let's just get on with this, shall we? Assassination number six, loot. No, that's just a civilian. Come on, move backwards. Can you move backwards? Down. Oh, for goodness sake. Did I just hear the... So I've got my volume down just because I don't want it to pick it up on the microphone. It makes it kind of echoey. If anyone's watched my Odd World New and Tasty Let's Play, then some of them were a bit echoey. I didn't mind, but in certain parts I forgot to turn the volume down. Okay, so there he is in his office. Mr. Ferris, sir. The lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Okay, so a lot of blighters are here. I imagine you've worked it out by now, but blighters are the ones in the red. <laughs> Makes it a bit obvious to know that they're enemies, but... <laughs> Yeah, wearing red. Uh, I've got three knives here, the left. I think I'm going to use them quite cautiously. I'm tempted to really just go in hard and attack. Oh, I didn't kill him, so I used two knives. Down, yeah. It's too much. No, don't go up, don't go up, get down. Going in hard now. Just because I'm getting a bit bored. <laughs> now, the first parts of the game I do get a little bit bored, but once they implement certain things into the game, it makes me that a little bit more. Oh, bugger, he saw us. Never mind. It was still fun. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. So yeah, that's the goal of an assassin. You just take out the great evil. You don't harm civilians, you have a goal, you're a member of the creed. That's pretty much what I can work out. It's just pretty difficult for me to work out what, you know, behind the scenes thing in the future. That's what I've really got to get my head around. I really need to do my research on that. All right. Bring it. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have levels, like they're level 1 enemies, so they're really easy to defeat. And you upgrade your character as the game goes on. So it makes it a bit more fun in combat, but at the same time a lot more easy. So I don't know if that's beneficial or if it isn't. I don't mind it personally. Upgrade your characters between Jacob and Evie. We're playing as Jacob right now because he's a man. That's pretty obvious, but yeah. Come on. Now he's more hands-on. She's more, you know, a bit more cautious. Right, here we go. Oh, is that it? I was enjoying that. We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Right. Okay, down. Okay. Be careful. Remember to press the circle to go down. Up. Maybe next time I'll walk. <laughs> right, there we go. That's the spanner in the works, sequence number one. Now, because sequence number two is a very long one, I'm actually going to end the part here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first part. Yeah, we'll get on with it in the next one. See you in a moment, because I upload immediately. Just because I don't bother with schedules. Give me 5,000 likes before it. No, just upload now. That's what I say anyway.